Hey guys, this is John and I'm playing Peter 12 in the 15 minute pool on ICC. Yes, your eyes do not deceive you. I am playing a standard game on ICC. It has been ages since I've done this, but it's worth pointing out that my standard playlist originally began on ICC. At the beginning when I was posting lots and lots of standard videos, I exclusively played on this site in the 15 minute category. So no increment in this. Bishop f5 on move two. Okay, so this is the, I believe it's called the Baltic defense. And I know that takes is supposedly the best move. I could also play knight c3, but I think that after e6, black gets better chances for equality. So takes, and now usually black takes on b1. Odd move, because black would be taking an undeveloped piece, but the point is that here, with queen takes d5, you could consider this a poor man's Scandinavian, because now after knight c3, it's highly likely I'm going to get d4 and e4 in. This is not a good development for black when white is able to establish those two pawns side by side. Even in the Scandinavian, when you're taking out the e-pawn, white doesn't manage to do that. So I'm already very happy with the result of this opening. It's not losing yet for black by any means, but it could be uncomfortable for my opponent. So let's figure out how I want to proceed. Developing moves here, bishop c4, knight f3 come to mind. Bishop c4 is the move my eye is going towards immediately, just because queen b3 could be a potential follow-up, creating a queen bishop battery against f7, attacking b7. But I kind of like knight f3 as well. I wonder if I'll be able to play h4 even and try to harass this bishop. I could try h4 right now, but I don't know. Knight f3, knight f6, let's say. If e5, there's knight d5. Maybe queen b3 there. Okay, that's not so convincing. I could try to shove the pawn into e6. There's also even f4 to consider. f4 threatening f5. Black will probably play e6. Yeah, in short, I'm, I'm spoiled for options here. I think I'm just going to play bishop c4. So as to meet knight f6 with e5 when black will not have the d5 square available for the knight. So, huh, black's going to play knight f6 anyway. So if knight f6, e5, knight e4, I think that must be good for me. Yeah, let's play this without thinking about it too much. It's just, that's the whole reason I played bishop c4 to try to punish the development of the knight. I think e6 would have been more accurate for my opponent. I'll figure out what to do against knight e4 if that move is played. I think I have a number of good options. So there is a big rating disparity in this game, as you've probably noticed. That's one of the downsides of playing standard on ICC, I've found. So ICC is a pay site, but the longer games, 15 minutes plus, are just not very popular with the high-rated players. There's tons of action in the bullet and blitz pools here on ICC, lots of title players playing, but the standard pool is just not as uh, plentiful with title players. Okay, knight e4. So if I take that knight, bishop takes. The bishop is undefended there, but I don't see exactly how I can punish my opponent because they will be threatening g2. I'd love to play knight takes, bishop takes, queen b3, hitting f7 and b7 like I was talking about earlier. But yeah, bishop takes g2 is possible. Well, actually, that gets mated in two. Probably my opponent would just play e6 there. Because the bishop on e4 is in fact just defending b7. So what if I change up the move order, play queen b3 right away? And I could try that. Leaves d4 a bit loose. I don't know if they have time to take it. I take on b7, but they take f2. Nah, I'm not liking that. So likely I'll deal with this knight right away. Either take it, I'm even thinking about moving this knight away, because if... Black was not able to play knight takes c3 on the next move. I could play f3 and trap their piece. So a move like knight ce2 comes to mind here. Odd looking move, but it would threaten f3. I could also just develop like knight f3 or knight ge2. Any other moves to consider here? I mean, e6 also, e6 before black gets to play e6. Just looking at knight ce2 again. Knight ce2 and black might have to play h6. So that after f3 he has knight g5. Hmm. Yeah, then I get a knight f4, maybe followed by e6. That definitely looks sketchy for black. Okay, let's let's try this move. 
it's odd. It looks awkward to play this. You know, I take away this square from my knight. I'm moving a piece backwards. But I have in mind this very concrete threat. And I'm curious how black is going to respond to it. Okay, so on e6, I think I can just play f3, knight g5, h4, and the knight is trapped. I did notice that he can throw in bishop b4 check, so f3, bishop b4 check, but after king f1 just sidestepping, not only is the knight still in dire straits, but I have queen a4 even. Ah, uh, queen a4, I guess he has knight c6, but the knight will be trapped in the same way, won't it? And if f3, queen h4, I can just play g3. So no issues there. Just double checking my my calculations, making sure I'm not missing anything. I don't think so. So yeah, let's go f3. Yeah, he is gonna throw in the check, so we'll just sidestep. My pawn's controlling the f6 square, so he can't play queen f6. So I think I'm just bound to win a piece here. So as I was explaining earlier, ICC doesn't have as many strong players, but the main reason I'm recording this video on ICC in the standard category is that I think on this site, I'm far less likely to encounter a cheater, which unfortunately I've been encountering a lot of on Lee Chess, and I also know there's a lot of on chess.com. It's just kind of the nature of the game on these free sites. I think having that paywall uh, and having people feel a bit more invested when they sign up for a site like this because they do have to pay something for membership fee that by by its nature will curtail some of the cheating it won't completely uh rule out cheating but i think people are a lot less likely to do it when they know that their paid membership is on the line they'll just get banned and they won't get a refund so i apologize for the rating disparity uh, my opponent actually just resigned here uh, but hopefully this this sort of uh, format, even on ICC, is good and that you guys like the occasional games against lower-rated players. So, yeah, my opponent didn't drag it out. He is just losing a piece. Not a whole lot to say about this one because it was so short, and I think I hit the highlights, but suffice it to say, if Black is going to play this bishop f5 move on move 2, this Baltic defense, after c takes d5, I think Black has to go in for the main line, which is bishop takes b1. So take on b1, and now the line goes queen a4 check. White throws this move in to try to inconvenience black slightly. Black plays c6, and now white takes on c6, another in-between move. So not playing rook takes b1 yet, uh, but taking on c6. Actually, is that the line, or is it rook takes b1? I think you can also play rook takes b1. Rook takes b1, queen takes d5. Aha, uh -huh, maybe this is how it goes. And then knight f3, and white has the bishop pair and a small theoretical edge. Maybe this is also playable, but I'm not sure. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's rook takes b1 right here is the theoretical move. Queen takes d5 and then like knight f3 or e3 or something and just continue with development. Let's just put the engine on it. I can't consult the opening book when I'm analyzing on ICC unlike you could on uh, Lee Chess, the opening database. But yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the way to go. What about this d takes c6 move? That's also playable. Note that a black throws in b5 trying to save their bishop after queen takes b5 and then the bishop retreats somewhere, white will have c7 with check, discovered check. That's devastating, so black can't consider that. So if you're going to play this Baltic defense, got to take on b1. And if rook takes b1 other than queen a4 check, then queen takes d5. This is a bit better version than what black got in the game. Actually, a lot better, because I don't have a knight that can come to c3, so it's going to be harder to kick out the queen. Also, black is threatening queen takes a2. Even here, white might be better, but it's not nearly as clear as it is in the game. After queen takes d5 as played, knight c3, queen moves away. Maybe queen a5 creates a few more problems, because here I can't play e4 due to bishop takes e4. But still, like I was saying in the game, I think this is a poor man Scandinavian. It really feels like white will eventually get e4 and bishop d2 to oppose the queen. If you're going to play this way with the pawn coming to d5, I think it's critical to be able to knock out the e pawn rather than the c pawn. You know, if I can draw a parallel, that's why against c4 on move 1, you very rarely see any good player play d5, the Scandinavian-like move, because after take and take, it's going to be the same issue. Knight c3, queen's going to move away, and white is just so likely to be able to establish those two pawns in the center. So 
be mindful of that D5 push. And, you know, in the Scandinavian, that's the reason why it works out so well, is that you're taking out the E pawn. White only has one central pawn left as opposed to two. So as played, probably only a couple things of, of interest here. It's just up for debate how I should proceed at this point. I chose bishop c4, but any logical move is good here for white. Knight f3, the computer likes queen b3, which attacks this pawn on b7. That does make good sense with black's bishop having been diverted from the defense of the b7 pawn. Uh, f4 also crossed my mind. Trying to go here. So bishop c4, and then he played the provocative move knight f6. E5 is interesting. That's an interesting suggestion of the computer. You can see it's already giving plus one for white. But yeah, sometimes you see this E5 counter strike against the pawns here and here. I wonder if takes and take here, king takes, does black have compensation for the pawn? Knight C6. I can't castle. Black is ready to castle queenside with check. This pawn's a bit fragile. Yeah, maybe. Maybe it's something. I think given the opening, this would be... A relatively good outcome for black. I mean, it could be a lot worse. So, huh. Maybe that's one reason why knight f3 could be more accurate than bishop c4. But I think even in the case of bishop c4, e5, I probably have good options here. Like, yeah, I could play knight f3 at this stage. Black does get to take out one of my center pawns, but white has a nice lead in development. So bishop c4, knight f6. I go ahead and play e5. Yeah, if we compare it to this line, where if I had played knight f3, knight f6, e5, now knight d5 is more likely to be played. I don't have a bishop on c4. So my thinking was black wouldn't want to do this, because now I get to play this way. So e5. If black had played knight fd7, I think there's a very good chance I would have played e6. Computer also likes it, yeah. Get this capture, and now it's going to be difficult for black to ever castle kingside, because my bishop is just such a monster on this a2, g8 diagonal. So knight e4. Yeah, now here's the probably the most interesting moment of the game. I got creative with knight ce2. I mean, even as I played this, I felt like objectively it may not be the best move, but I was genuinely curious how my opponent was going to respond and whether they would fully appreciate this f3 threat. The engine again wants to play this e6 move. Yeah, it's pretty disruptive. Just setting this up. Yeah, and here I don't even have to take it, actually. That's a good point that the computer's making. I can play knight f3 and try to stick the knight in on e5. These pawns are so bad for black. Even if I don't recover the pawn right away, I'm going to have tremendous compensation. Yeah, this is already almost decisive. Yeah, e6. Objectively, that looks better. I was considering a few different lines. I was looking at queen b3, but... Queen takes d4. I didn't want to have to calculate that. Yeah, knight e2 looks normal. Knight f3. But I like e6 in hindsight. So on knight c e2, how should black react? Okay, the computer is actually saying e6. Is there something I missed? Okay, now it changed its mind to knight c6. And that's still a healthy advantage for white, so... It's hard to say that knight ce2 is a mistake. It may just be that e6 even is even stronger. Well, let's pursue this line. So e6, f3, and now knight c6, really. So just give up the knight. f takes e4, bishop takes e4. I mean, this can't possibly be compensation for black. White's now up two points in material. The computer's saying plus 1.2 or so. I don't want to get too wrapped up in computer evaluations, but... If you just showed me this position, I would just assume that white is winning. Probably black's only counterplay is connected with something like queen h4 coming. I do have to address this threat on g2, though, first. Huh, h4 is interesting, so I'm trying to control the h4 square, just give a pawn back. Yeah, I'm sure this position is just losing for black. But what about, what about h6 after knight ce2? Is there a way I can trap the knight here? So h6 prepares this hole on h7. Yeah, I was thinking about a line like this here and then h4. And if the knight gets driven to h7, like maybe now play e6 at the very end of this line. Or even knight f4 looks interesting. h5 also playable. h5 here, queen b3. Uh-huh. And there's that double attack on these two points. 
Yeah, so that doesn't look too good. H4, black can play knight e6. You let black's position. Something has clearly gone wrong here <laughs> if you're black. Queen here. Yeah, this just looks bad. Hmm. So it seems like even in the case of h6, white gets a good position. Yeah, I would probably play h4 here. Engine wants to play queen b3. But instead, e6, f3. This check, this very natural check, but importantly, the knight is going to meet its fate because of h4. And he resigned. And the only other detail is that on f3, you do have to see that queen h4 check is playable, but white just throws in g3, and again, black is going to lose a piece. Important that if knight takes g3, we can recapture with the knight rather than the pawn, so I don't lose the rook on h1. Okay, so relatively short video, but hope you guys learned a thing or two from there. As I said, if you play these openings like the Baltic defense with the early bishop f5, just be mindful of how you're giving up the center, and if your opponent is able to establish those two pawns in the middle, almost always something has gone wrong, and you have to reevaluate your opening strategy. This one was short, so I think I'm going to play a quick blitz session, and we'll see what happens in the three-minute pool. All right, guys. Talk to you later.